Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 21 in Kushto Query Language Playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about sample operator in Kushto Query Language. So what is this sample operator and how to use it with a practical demo we are going to see. So please note, before watching my Kushto Query Language Playlist, always I encourage you to watch my Azure Data Explorer Playlist, at least 3-4 videos. And then please try to watch Kushto Query Language Playlist as well from the starting so that you will get most out of it. So let's try to understand this sample operator with an example in this video. So basically as name says it is very easy. It will return up to the specified number of rows that are random rows from the input table. For example if you have 100 rows of input table from that if you want to take 10 rows as an sample, then use this operator and these 10 rows will come randomly. Okay, there is no fixed guarantee like only these 10 rows will come. Let me practically explain you this so that you will get most sense of it. Let's go to Kushto Explorer. I have already opened Kushto Explorer. And if I go to connections, I have connected to help cluster. And I have connected, so this help cluster you already know if you have seen my previous videos where what is this help cluster and what kind of tables it has. Everything we discussed in the data explorer playlist and also starting videos of the Kushto playlist. So let it be. So now what I am going to do, home menu, then going to this new tab. That's where we can write our new queries. So once you hit that, you will see a new tab here, something like that. If you have watched my previous videos, we know that there is something called a range operator that can help you to get a, a data table created on the fly with a single column. So let me write this range x from 1 to 100 step 1. I am not going to explain this in detail. Please watch my range operator video in the Kushto query language playlist. So what it will do from 1 to 100 by incrementing 1 1 value it is going to create a table which will contain a column called x. Let me hit this run button to show you the results. And if you see the results, we have a one column table in the output which contains numbers from 1 to 100. Okay, you can see clearly here. So now let's assume this is a table. Okay, so on top of this table, I want to use this sample operator to demo you how it actually behaves. So let me do one thing. So let me use a keyword called let underscore data equals to this table. So this query will give you the table. That entire table will come here. Then if you simply try to use the table name, it will give the same result. Let me see, let's see here. See, we got the same thing actually. So all the numbers from 1 to 100 came. Okay. So this is one table, right? Of course, we haven't discussed about let operator or let statement yet we will discuss in our upcoming videos for no think like it is a way to declare a variable and store some data in it or even some table in it so now we stored this table in it that is 1 to 100 numbers and that table we are it's like a select query right if you use a table name then directly run in kushto query language it's like a select query so now we got the data here so on top of this let me do one thing so let me use sample 2 so that means out of this 100 rows i am going to take two rows randomly now let me hit this run button if you see we got two rows 57 and 7 now let me rerun this and see what will happen so if i rerun this this time the two numbers what we got is different so that's how it behaves actually it will randomly pick the rows from the input table there is no guarantee what it is picking okay and um, if you if so let me do one thing so let me save this into maybe like sample variable this output whatever this output from the sample of data table i am storing it here okay now let me try to use this sample here and let me try to use this sample two times actually so it will behave differently in every time i will practically preview that so here on top of the data take the sample 2 and that sample 2 will come here and then same sample 2 
uh, same sample two rows will come every time that's what we, we are guessing it right but it won't behave like that when you write this let statements it will evaluate during runtime so when this line executes it is going to execute this freshly and take the two rows and display it then when this line executes it again going to execute this so again two different random set of rows will come and that rows will display so the result of this one and the result of this one are different let me practically show you that let me hit this run button now now if you see here 33 and 100 was came in the results and if i go to results true it is 87 and 68 the reason is so during this line execution it evaluates this and gets the two random numbers and when it comes to here it will again evaluate this and as i said when you again evaluate that means again running a sample so automatically the random rows will come so it is there is no guarantee the same rows will come right that's the reason you see different outputs here okay for some reason if you want to like there is something called materialized views actually so there is a concept called materialized views where you can take the output of any query execution and save it and next time when the similar query has to run it will directly take from the saved result i will practically show you that as well so you can you can see here in this ppt i am using a materialize to materialize that output into this and from that materialized output we are just printing so let me practically show you that so what i will be doing here is i will be doing it here like materialized okay Mater let me use this materialize okay this keyword and to this materialize key uh, function i am passing this output now what will happen it will get execute and that will be materialized i mean it's like it will be stored in some catchy imagine like that and that will be stored here so we run two times both the times we see the same result let me hit this run button now and now if you observe we got here 76 97 right if i go to data set result 2 that means primary result 2 even here we see the same result so basically even though the sample operator gives the random output once we take that random output we are storing it using this materialize operator that's the reason that materialize operator is making sure the same result appears in the both the cases even though we are executing two times okay so let's not worry all this so in short sample operator helps you to get the rows from the input table randomly okay and there is no guarantee i hope you got a sense how it actually works thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much